Okay, so welcome back today guys. Uh, what we're doing today is an instrumental basic. So we've just got some of the basic tools that you'll need. Eraser, pencil sharpener, really important to keep your pencils sharp if you're using them. Uh, mechanical pencils even better because then you can just push it down and it keeps coming. You'll need tape to tape your paper onto your board and you'll need your set squares. This is a 30-60 and a 45-45 and then your T-square as well. Okay, so if you've got a T-square like this one, you need to make sure it's square. So the, the way you do this, this is a 90 degree angle, is you're just going to get that right up against there and just see that it matches up. And this one's all good. If it's not, you have to loosen those up and then tighten them. If that's not done, your drawing will be all wonky, so it is really important. Okay. So um, I would recommend using a 2H pencil, that will give you a really fine detailed line, okay, and if you want to darken up your, um, it's good for your construction lines, if you want to darken up your itchy object lines later use an HB, unless you're really heavy handed then I would recommend this. And best of all is your mechanical pencil. Now this one's got a 0.7mm uh, lead but 05 is possibly even better okay so also just remember to clean your um, tools make sure you do that every time and I, we use glass cleaner remember both sides especially the little sticky bits that have come off your tape so that's really really important also on your set squares okay so I've set my paper up earlier so when you're setting your paper up make sure that's buttered up Make sure it's nice and square, and then you set your paper up right along there. Just a little bit of tape right in the very corner. You don't want it down too much, and don't press it down too hard, because you want to be able to remove it later. Okay? So we're going to just start off by doing uh, a border, and this is what you do on every drawing. That's instrumental. So you're just going to mark off a one centimetre border. And you only need one tiny little dot on each side. This is why you have instruments to help you to do this really quickly. So you don't have to put heaps of marks on them. You can use your um, square and your um, T-square to do that. So, you know, if my thing's set up properly, then I should be able to do that. Now I'm going to press a little bit no darker than you normally would, just so you can see that. And I'm just going to check this. Oh, that's a bit out, so there's something funny going on with our this as well. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can see there it's I didn't butt it up fully. So if that happens, that's all good. Rub it out. Try again. It's okay to make mistakes. Okay, if you want to make sure you're not that's not going to happen, you can do this. Maybe Mrs. Chapman's been too optimistic. Okay, let's try it again. So then we can make sure we're lining up to those and then we're making sure. Okay, remember you can do your wee rotate and we don't want to see lines, you're doing it halfway and then another, we don't want to see that. Okay, so now we're going to do our next part. Now remember to butt it up nicely. It's all about the butt today, making sure that's up there nicely there. Now you can see that's not going to be quite long enough, so I'm going to have to be very careful and try and make sure that when I do this part, it's going to line up nicely. Okay. And remember that little crow's feet at the end? Oops, that's a no-no down here too. Okay, we always want our drawings to just go across like that and we cross. Okay, so let's go up here. Um, we can rub that bit out later, but we want to see a little bit left there. Here's my dot, you probably can't see it, but I can cross here. And then I'm going to go down here. So flip that over, make sure it's buttered. Going right down to here. Okay. Whoops, remember the butt. Okay, move it 
Make sure it's right on. Yeah. And up. And I can rub that tiny little bit out. Okay, so that's that part. That's your basic water. Now we're just going to make our, our um, part for our text, etc. Down here. Okay, so we're just putting it five mils apart. Now, if you know your drawing is going to take up quite a lot of the space, you can actually do a little border down there. And I might show you that on another video. Okay, so we're getting that lined up there. last okay now um, then we're going to just separate this this part's going to have my name this central part's going to have the drawing title and that will have the scale now I'm not going to do all of that now because that's one of the last things you're going to add but I'm going to just do this kind of the separation if you want to you can make that even but um, because the scale is not going to take out much, I'm going to do it like this. Okay, and that's your basic setup for any um, instrumental drawing. Whoops.